Okay, here's one for NASA. Now that you have upgraded the windows on the Lamin, the CSM, you've upgraded these windows to block all that stuff now. Let's see the documents you put out for the freaking helmets because the glass in there and the shielding and all of the stuff. Where's the composition of that material? Basically, uh, Betty Crocker cooking pans for the glass on there. They got to be updated. Come on now, so get your PDF files out, get the boys together and do an entire document. I want to see the inner helmet. I want to see the other helmet hell and all the stuff and what the materials are they're made out of. You take a look at the lamp, it's just a mock-up. It's an empty shell yeah. sitting on the surface. Couldn't possibly function as a real machine. That's why there's no blast crater. That's why there's no legs on the compression. That's why Buzz Aldrin is up against the door frame because there's nothing inside the vehicle. And when you look very carefully at it, they couldn't possibly get out face down and come out on their belly out of there when you've got a 10 inch PLSS on your back and you're sitting in at least another 12 inches for the console. Your knees are up against the base model. It comes up 20 inches and then the rocket engine is there. You can't bend over and bend backwards to get around to get it. your legs out that way. Your body doesn't go that way. The only way they'd be able to get out if that equipment was in there is one astronaut would have to be up on top of the engine and the other guy would have to be on his back and go out on his PLSS to get out that door. You have to slide out in his back. Once he gets out there, he's going to have to try and figure out how to turn around so he can get down the ladder. <laughs> that would be one hell of a chore. And you've seen the videos of them when they're on the Vomit Comet and the astronaut lands and he's on his back and he can't get off his backpack to turn over on his own. Well, that's what would happen to them. Yeah, of course it would. It's just a matter of thinking it through. And all these NASA fanboys, they don't think these things through. They just take what is told to them at face value. Makes no sense at all. It's not even worth listening to them because they don't know what they're talking about. They got no realistic ideas behind it.